Let's ride. What's up guys welcome back to my channel man it's d dyke man i am so excited right now guess what man so check this out one of my subscribers them mr ozzy reached out to me and said yo i'm rolling through um atlanta today uh would you want to meet up and i'm like oh absolutely i just got to make sure i get off work in a reasonable time because i didn't know what time he was going to roll through but it turns out that um, he's coming in the uh, evening time, which is now, and I'm off work. So I'm just like, man, this is awesome, man. One of my subscribers that got a Peterbilt 379, and from what he told me, it sounds amazing. Right now, I'm gonna go meet up with Mr. Ozzy and check out his Peterbilt 379, and I'm taking y'all with me. This is gonna be cool. Uh, because it's one of our very own, man. One of the subscribers them to the channel reached out and was like, yo, I'm coming through the A. Are you going to be available? And I'm like, yeah, brother. Come on. So another peep, baby. Another peep. And we're going to see how it sounds. So let's go. Let's go. Thank you all again, man, for tuning in. Let's go catch up. Let's go catch up with my main, man. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Ozzy, man. And see how he is rocking. Let's go. I see him, guys. Can y'all hear him? I see him. I got my man right here. Pronounce your name one more time. It's uh, Osvaldo Del Rio. Osvaldo, but he says we can go, he go by the name of Ozzy, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like Ozzy so, Osbourne. Uh, like Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> Except I, I'm not crazy like that now. <laughs> <laughs> he's not crazy, man. So he's right there with his uh, beautiful Peterbilt 379. I'm gonna give you all a whole montage video of the truck. But um, real quick, man, how you doing today, bro? I'm doing pretty good. I loaded up in uh, South Carolina, headed back home to uh, Dallas. Dallas, a load Texas. Of, load of fish feed on there. Uh, fish feed? 45,000 pounds. Pretty, uh, pretty heavy. Damn, dude, that's yeah. crazy, man. That is awesome, bro. And uh, real quick, man, tell us a little bit about your truck here. Sure, it's a 1998 Peterbilt 379. Okay. Uh, extended wheelbase. It has a 310-inch wheelbase stretched out. Okay. It uh, was an ex-cattle uh, hauler uh, back in the day. Oh, nice. So this bad boy don't see some action. It has. <laughs> <laughs> it sure has. 
and uh, it has uh, about 1.8 million miles on it. Gosh, mm -hmm. golly. But I did uh, do a rebuild about uh, about four months ago. I did upper and lower rebuild, new radiator, and all that. So uh, okay, took care of the you know major uh, right. major details on the engine. Right. You know, what, to keep it running right. What kind of engine is up on the new? C15 Caterpillar. Oh, y'all hear that? Uh, would you like to? Uh, uh, maybe see the uh, the engine. Man, or? listen, my people will love to see it. They're sure. gonna eat me up in the comment section if you don't right. pop that hood, man. Like I said, it's a working truck. Kind of use a crowbar to pry this up. Okay. Get it open. Oh wow! I hit a hog back in Texas. About. You hit a hog? Yeah, about a month ago, and it bent the original bumper. Oh, so man. So I had to change it out, and when they put this one, it never sat right. So now I got to take a crowbar, uh, you know, to the hood and lift it up a little. That's what you call improvising right there. Yep. <laughs> This is how you know he's a real trucker, man. <laughs> real truckers know how to improvise, man. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this turbo on this thing, y'all. Y'all check this thing out. Woo! Yep, there she goes. Big Caterpillar. Yep, she's tuned to 700 horse. That's about it. Eight inch uh, Dynaflex uh, pipes, straight pipes. Uh, we got the uh, airbag kit right there to lower yeah i the, saw you coming around the corner and i was like man my man's sitting low to the ground bro yep and if you want to come on this side y'all see his shirt now don't play with him now cowboy oh here we go there they are airbags right there yep airbags sorry guys it's a little dark but trust me it's all there man yeah this is awesome right here man let's Check on the inside of this thing. You could go ahead and step in. Oh, y'all, he said I can step up in here. <laughs> oh, y'all, look at this. You want to get my wife and my kids on there? What are they at? Oh, we got the family up here. Oh, it's a little yeah. dark, but the family is up here, man. There we go. We got the angel that watch over him when he's on the road oh, over yeah. here, man. You know what I'm saying? This is how you do it, man. These guys spend hours and hours and hours in these trucks, man. All the way from home. All the way from home? Yep. Man. So let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Why'd you get into trucking? It's always been my dream to drive such a, a big, powerful piece of equipment, you right. know? And uh, pays good, you know, takes care of the family. And, uh, yeah, it's in my blood. And... Uh, once it's in your blood, you know. Yes, you know sir. what they say. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to get no it out, back. man. Exactly. Yeah. Man, you're a very humble that guy too, man. You're Appreciate real humble, it. man. That's that's what's up, man. Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, what's your age? Uh 31. 31? So yes, we're sir. the same age. We're 90s, baby. Yeah, March 11th. March 11th, yep. I'm um I'm January 20th. Okay. January 20th, 1990. Yep. Born in Jamaica. Born in Jamaica. Yeah, moved man. to moved to America. Okay. And fell in love with these things, man. The trucks out there in Jamaica. You know what? I left Jamaica before I could explore the trucking scene. So, oh, I see. yeah, 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 yeah. So you come to America, you see the big boys. Yeah. And these are the big boys right here. Oh man, this thing is sweet. My man's heading to Texas, man. So I ain't trying to hold him up. You know what I'm saying? And I know what y'all really want to hear. Y'all want to hear what this bad boy sound like going on the highway. So have no fear, man. I'm gonna let y'all hear what this bad boy sound like. Yo, this thing is clean, man. This thing is really freaking clean, bro. Yeah, How long have you had it? Uh, for about a year now. About a year? Yes, sir. Okay. For you got year. What's your plans in the future? Like something with the truck? Uh, thinking about getting back into uh, the cattle industry. Cattle? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, when you get in the cattle industry, I'll know you so you can teach me the ropes of the cattle oh, industry. Definitely, <laughs> man. <Hell yeah. laughs> it seems like cattle is... All I'm torn between reefer, flatbed, reefer, flatbed, and cattle. Well, you know that flatbed, man, you stay fit. Yeah, that's what they say. Same that with the say. cattle, you know, because you're interacting with the animals, and you know, uh, it's uh, it's kind of crazy, you know. You got to get them in there, uh, 
situate them, close the gates, and you know, start loading the other ones. Right. Uh, and you get your trailer where it rocks back and forth. Damn. Oh, oh and this is a uh, pre emission, so uh, no logbook or anything. Oh, well, I do use a logbook, but no electronic. That's good. Uh, That's know. good. I love the new trucks, but at the same time, they just it have no character, man. No, it's they too, don't. Man. It's too quiet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're too quiet. Yep. It's like I don't want to drive a Tesla if I'm in a Peterbilt. Yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, I feel uh, I feel pretty good when I get behind the wheel. Of this. Yeah. You know, every time I turn that key, it's it's uh, it's exciting. Right. You know, when you're rolling down that road and you know you feel that vibration from those pipes, man. Damn. Talk about it, brother. Man, there ain't no feeling like it, man. It's addicting. I'm telling you, it's addicting, man. <laughs> Talk about it, brother. Especially a tunnel. I bet them tunnel passes are off the chain. Man. Come on, man. All the time, I... <laughs> man. All the time, I'll gear, I'll gear down and uh, I'll let the Jake break go. Then I'll do it again, you know. Yeah, until right. I make it to the other side. Man, Ozzy, yeah. you out here killing them, man. And this is really cool, too, man. Because, y'all, he's a subscriber to the channel, man. I am. And he, he hit me up. and was just like, yo, I'm coming through. And I was like, man, if I can make it off work in time, this is going to be cool, man. Yep, and I appreciate the man. effort, man, making it out here. Man, yeah. I was like, man, I shut that bad boy down. <laughs> but now we got to race the sunlight. So... I'm gonna get on. We're gonna get on the highway, and we're going. We're gonna ride out, man. And uh, we're gonna check out. Uh, oh, you got two. Let's talk about this real quick. He's got two shifters in here. Yep. So we got here two shifters. It's an 18 speed. Uh, this is an auxiliary. So it's your, uh, you know, your splitter. Split the gears. And oh, that's here's cool. Your, yeah, here's your, uh, your high range. You know, low range. Yeah. That is sick, man. Go ahead, fire this thing up, man. Give them boys a sneak peek of this, of this Jake action, man. Y'all want a sneak peek? Let's ride, baby. Let's ride. <laughs> guys it got laid on us man but i'm gonna still see if i can get the best footage i can get of this bad boy for y'all okay <laughs> 